How's it going everybody? This is Radish Head and welcome back to another episode of Upland Analysis. I hope you all had a fantastic Christmas. Um, I did, except this video was supposed to be out yesterday so everybody would know exactly what my predictions were in time for the stress test today. So uh, I'm recording this about an hour before the stress test goes live. We'll see how that goes, whether it causes people a lot of stress or uh, or whatever. Um, just for the record, I have posted a quick post on the uh, community tab of YouTube, just to say, um, within the North Berkeley um, area, which is going to be the stress test, my top tip is uh, University Avenue, which runs along the bottom of North Berkeley. So obviously you're not going to see this video before the stress test comes out, but um, I did post it on the community tab. So yeah, <laughs> I feel a bit, I feel not quite as guilty about it. Um, so if you're watching this in the future, um, well done to you if you managed to get something on University Avenue. I think it's got a good shot at being a collection um, because within Berkeley, um, even me as, you know, a British person, I know Berkeley and the university. They're like, they go hand in hand, right? It's it's like the the start of the um, countercultural movement of the 60s. Um, and it sort of started in Berkeley and it started on university, well, on the university. So University Avenue, I think, has a good shot. Uh, that is my first prediction. Um Oh, and I'm going to do these as two separate videos. So this will be the Berkeley prediction video, and um, I'll do a separate one for Alameda, um, you know, for those people who just want to focus on one or the other. Just for your curiosity, of the two, I think that um, Berkeley is probably the most likely to uh, see the biggest uh, value, I guess. Uh, I think Berkeley is more iconic um, from like a global perspective. Alameda has the advantage in the fact that it is an island and historically in Upland people seem to love islands whether the, you know Manhattan Island or on a smaller scale you've got City Island in Bronx just again and again uh, you see islands being quite popular so I think Alameda has a good shot at being valuable for that but in the longer term I think uh, Berkeley is going to pull it out over Alameda because it's just a bit more iconic. So University Avenue, that is my first uh, collection prediction. And as I say, it just runs on this border between North Berkeley and Poets Corner, Central Berkeley and downtown Berkeley. So it just runs along here. I think it goes all the way to the coast. Yeah. So, yeah, pretty key street there. Uh, my second prediction for Berkeley is the Thousand Oaks neighbourhood that is located at the very north part of Berkeley. Uh, so you've got Berkeley Hills, this is quite nice, but Thousand Oaks, this really stands out to me as the um, nice part of town collection. <laughs> um, the uh, property prices there uh, far exceed anything in other parts of Berkeley. And Upland don't always include the fancy neighbourhood as a collection. They didn't in Nashville because lots of people were speculating on, what was it Bell Bell Mead? I think it was called. Um, but so it didn't it didn't happen in Nashville. It did happen in the Bronx with Riverdale. So it could happen in Thousand Oaks. And certainly, I think the amount of properties located within this neighbourhood suggests that it could be. Um, an exclusive collection because the properties are quite large. I was hoping they'd pop up as I scrolled in there. <laughs> um, are they going to pop in? Come on, give me give me something, Upland. Anyway, whatever. Thousand Oaks um, is a good part of town. Uh, very expensive property, so the mint prices will be high, but I'm going to try and grab a few there if I can. My third prediction is a little bit of a weird one. Not weird because I think it's unlikely. In fact, it's weird because of quite the opposite. It's already a collection. And I'm talking about Telegraph Avenue in, um, well, Oakland, <laughs> which also goes into Berkeley. So Telegraph Avenue, just as I'm scrolling around here, I believe is this diagonal one here. Ah, here it is on the right here. Yep. So if you can see my mouse, 
going up and down. That is Telegraph Avenue. And you'll see that it's already going into Oakland. That's where my mouse is going. So this is an Oakland collection. Telegraph Avenue is just as iconic in Berkeley as it is in Oakland. Perhaps even more so. Um, there's a lot of history on Telegraph Avenue. Um, again, to do with the countercultural movement of the 60s and so on. So are they going to extend the collection? Because I believe at the moment it's an exclusive collection. So it's going to be a bit strange because it could dilute the value of the collection for people already in the Oakland version. And this has never come up before. We've only ever had uh, like one expansion city before, and that was um, Fresno being added to Clovis months ago, before I even started playing. This is the first time we've got an exclusive street or a collection street that uh, is running into a new expansion area. So if Oakland didn't exist, I would say Telegraph Avenue is like the safest bet of all the area. But the fact that it's already a collection in Oakland makes me wonder if it is going to be in or not. But regardless, people are going to be speculating there pretty hard because, as I say, it is a really important city in Berkeley. Uh, and therefore, I will certainly be minting there if I get the chance. My next collection prediction for Berkeley is 4th Street. And uh, that is actually located right near the coast uh, on the west here. Um, so you see in West Berkeley here, there's some something called 4th Street, um, which is you know, quite a pleasant um, ocean view area. And uh, there is just a lot of shops there, a lot of restaurants there. Whenever I was searching, you know, great places to visit in Berkeley, 4th Street just kept coming up again and again. And um, I know from previous city releases that Upland don't just like to look at the historical significance of a city and the places where um, you know, people from around the world might have heard of. They also like to think about the places that people who are living in the city now like to do business, like to eat, like to shop. Um, we've seen that um, quite a lot in New Orleans. We saw it in Nashville. Um, we saw it to some extent in Bronx. But if that is going to happen, um, I think 4th Street in Berkeley is the collection to take advantage of that um, kind of more modern appeal that Upland quite like to have in their collections nowadays. Another neighbourhood that I think is going to do really well in Berkeley is Ocean View. And really, I think the boundaries and the location of Ocean View within Berkeley speak for itself. Um, the name Ocean View, if you think about San Francisco, there's a couple of um, neighbourhoods over there that are hugely popular because of their association with the sea, uh, Marina and Sea View. Um, Ocean View just emphasises that further. It's um, a tiny neighbourhood. It's got 4th Street running through it, uh, which is, as I say, already an area that I think is going to be um, quite popular. And uh, man, it just is just loaded up with businesses like Mark's Properties. Um, it's a small area. People are going to be buying up Ocean View super quickly. I don't know for sure if it's going to be a collection or not, but people are definitely going to be speculating on it as though it is. So uh, yeah, Ocean View is another tip from me. And my final collection prediction for Berkeley is Poets Corner. Now, I wasn't sure if this was actually going to be marked as a specific neighbourhood or not. I don't think in real life this is a neighbourhood, which kind of adds to my suspicion this could be a collection because they've specifically marked this out even though technically I think it's part of this central Berkeley neighborhood. Um, Poets Corner is sort of like an informal neighborhood and the streets within this neighborhood are all named after famous poets. You've got Byron Street, Browning Street, um, who else have we got? Some some famous names that uh, I vaguely remember from my English class. Poe Street. Uh, it's just pretty cool. It's a weird neighbourhood. Um, I th I have a f I believe that it's quite a nice place to live. Um, certainly, you can see along the west here, lots of restaurants. Um, 
it's just quite a hip place to be. And I just can't resist speculating in a place that is so unique to Berkeley. And that's something that Upland really tries to emphasize in their collections is stuff that is unique to a specific area. And I think it's only in Berkeley with its, um, you know, academic heritage where you're going to get a neighborhood that's all named after, um, you know, famous literary figures. That's pretty cool. And um, I haven't seen many people talking about it, to be honest. So you heard it here first, maybe, <laughs> Poets Corner. I am definitely going to be buying a few properties there. So that was my final Berkeley prediction. I do just want to do a quick disclaimer that these two, Berkeley and Alameda, are a little bit weird because they're expansions to an existing city, which means there's not going to be as many collections. I believe Upland said there was going to be four to seven new collections, and I'm assuming that is to be split between Berkeley and Alameda. So it might literally be like one standard, one limited, one exclusive and a rare or or I don't I don't know it's there's not many um so realistically most of these predictions that I've outlined here are probably not going to come true um but there are new collections in these cities and if I had to speculate on anywhere in the city these are the places that I would and will be um speculating in so those are my berkeley predictions um, Alameda predictions will be coming soon. Um, but yeah, I hope you found that useful. Best of luck to you in the stress test that is in about 50 minutes time from me recording this. And uh, yeah, let me know in the comments how you're doing the stress test. Um, and yeah, how are you feeling about Berkeley and Alameda in general? So I hope you found that useful. Please give me a like if you did. And if you want to see similar content to this in the future, give me a subscribe as well. I, it's really, really appreciated. So Great to see you. Have hope you had a lovely Christmas and a happy new year as well.